Yeah. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of stories that go undercovered um, this side of uh, Toronto. And you actually pointed out to me, and and to my great shame, I guess I didn't really know or I hadn't been paying attention, that Linda Sarsour had actually been to Vancouver um, and it was completely underreported. Oh, yeah, it was, it was a total mystery. And, and, you know, this has been a bit of a path um, that journalistically that, that I've been following as editor, Ron as publisher. Um, it started with Rothberg and uh, the idea that you can bring in a character like this, that the Limud movement, which is about Jewish learning and therefore tries to be, you know, almost non-denominational when it comes to the, the kinds of speakers they bring in. Uh, well, just because Rothberg was going to talk about the Winnipeg Jets, uh, you know, this is, it, it, it's, it's an affront to so many, it was an affront to so many in the Jewish community that he's speaking on the campus, on the Asper campus, named after Izzy Asper, and here's a guy who says uh, immigrating, making Aliyah to Israel is a sin, and it was just, uh, you know, so imbued in this Marxism that, that, that what, he, what he says is a total rejection of the average Jewish belief and experience, certainly in Canada. I can see it in the States, but in Canada, 80% of Jews identify as either conservative or, or, or uh, religious Orthodox. My own tradition uh, was, an, was Orthodox, not in daily practice, but in ob observation and observances. And so Rolfberg led, it, it, although there were other things that intervened that we found out about, Rolfberg led to Sarsour, uh, to Linda Sarsour appearing at a fundraiser in Winnipeg, and what I discovered was uh, in just doing a search about Sarsour Canada, that she had appeared in a couple of weeks after uh, Rothberg was here, March 3rd or whatever. On March 18th, 17th or 18th, she appeared on behalf of a Muslim charity, a women's helpline in uh, Vancouver. And there was no media coverage. There's one story in like the Richmond community newspaper. The Jewish community there, look, they don't have a run east. They don't have somebody like me, unfortunately, who will raise the alarms and knows how to cover these stories. And the the this is the cover now that's being used to bring Linda Sarsour into Canada, is they connect it with a Muslim charity to try to make it unassailable. How can you oppose helping women that are fleeing domestic violence? I've worked in that sector, so I understand the psychology of that argument. Uh, in this case, the Canadian Muslim Women's Institute, who last had an event listed in May of 2017, and who provide... Um, uh, social services to immigrant Muslim women. And these aren't people necessarily from uh, middle, the Middle East. These are from African countries, etc. Daycare, uh, food bank, worthwhile services to be sure. I didn't find a single political uh, kind of activity on their website at all. And all of a sudden they're co-sponsoring a dinner with Linda Sarsour, uh, at, not a dinner, rather a fundraising, pa uh, uh, and they backed off from being a fundraiser. And initially it was designed as a fundraiser for the Social Planning Council's 100th anniversary with a couple of other panelists about activism and how you can make a difference. But no matter where Linda Sarsour appears, North Carolina, for instance, in a couple of instances, uh, I think it was Orange County, North Carolina, uh, at a, a, a procession, a medical graduation, I think it was in Chapel Hill, she always brings it around to Israel, to the Middle East, to colonialism, to the evils of, of Zionism, uh, consistently. So we know where this is going in Winnipeg. Uh, but in the interim, there was a couple of other appearances by, by pro-BDS, uh, anti-Zionist characters. And so Winnipeg's become, uh, uh, I don't want to say a hotbed, but these characters walk in with impunity. That's an excerpt from my weekly show, The Gun Show. It airs every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Each week I bring you an informal interview with an interesting newsmaker or citizen activist you might not have heard of, but who is making a big difference in Canadian politics. And we'll talk about issues in a way you'll never see done in the mainstream media. To subscribe, go to therebel.media backslash shows.